I really don't <laughs> like the cold. This is not fun. Hurry it up. Okay. So friends, uh, as Rachel just said, it's cold out here and, uh, you know, it's winter in Pennsylvania and we have plans to try to winter camp in the future as much as Rachel doesn't really want to do it. But, yes. you know, right now with a new infant, it's totally impossible to go camping. So what we thought we'd do is we have some footage from back in 2020. Back in 2020, we went to Kinsua State Park in Pennsylvania and the Allegheny National Forest. And uh, it was really, it was one of our favorite trips. And we filmed it as kind of a practice for our YouTube channel, which okay. evolved later. So we have some footage and it's going to be kind of an editing challenge because we're missing some pieces and things of that nature. We didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. But uh, new to it all. But so we'll just do some voiceover stuff. Before we get into it, what did you think of Kinzo? I really like Kinzo. It was in the fall and it was rainy. We were up there and a hurricane hit. So it was rainy and kind of misty and gray. So I kind of like to see it when it's maybe green, maybe in the spring. Yeah, we definitely want to go back to Kinsua and, um, you know, there's a rails to trails there and just some things that uh, definitely interest us. We'll tell you more about it as the video progresses. But, uh, you know, right now I've got this kind of quirky new intro. Bad. There's a cat trying to climb my leg. Bad cat. Uh, but right now we've got this kind of quirky new intro that I'm going to show you. And uh, so let's roll that and get into the video. All right, let's go. We going camping? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to Kinsua KOA. Our goal is to check out the bridge that was hit by a tornado years ago and a couple other things while we're up there. It's in the Allegheny National Forest, which I've spent a little bit of time up there, but not much, so we're excited to see new sites. Alright, let's go. <laughs> okay, well, we just arrived at the KOA and now we are promptly leaving the KOA. Ryan, you want to tell us why? Well, apparently they're closed um, and they were supposed to notify us, but they didn't. All we got was an email with our reservation and confirmation of that, so we're now going the no reservations route, um, like so they're many trees. other RVers. We called another campground and they have sites available. The, I guess the reason they're closed is because whoever owns it passed away yesterday or the day before or some such thing. But yeah, I mean, which was which is totally legitimate reason to close, but it would have been nice for us to know about it. So hopefully we'll get refunded. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we're going to another campground. We have no idea 
how much this campground is going to cost. I didn't ask that. I just asked if they had sites. I just kept going. Um, yes, still available. I water and electric is That's all right, we honey. need. <laughs> um, what's, she, what's she saying? We gotta go to another campground. Yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta go to another campground. So High Pines Campground is the name of it. I looked yeah, it up on the go. Dirt app, which yeah, I use I to look at campgrounds. Going. And luckily, I was able to get I some cell phone, <laughs> cell phone service to to call and to load GPS because there's like no cell phone service up here whatsoever, which was my biggest fear. And and these people at the KOA, the person that was there, I guess, is related to whoever died. But they like they did not want us anywhere like on the property. They wanted us to get out, you know. So like I don't know uh, what the deal with that is, but but it sounds like we're gonna be okay. Luckily. Otherwise, I guess we're boondocking somewhere, but I don't think we can do that for very long. We're just not equipped for it. Hey, Sarah. So, so that's where we're at. We'll let you know when we get where we're going. All right, we're trying to find High Pines Campground, our replacement campground for the KOA. Campground number two. So hopefully you can hear us from this distance. So we made it to, what is this, Tall Pines? High Pines. High Pines. So High Pines RV Park is where we're at. So we did get the site till Tuesday, and then we're headed to Belfont from here on Tuesday. And actually we got full hookups, which is even better than where we were supposed to be. So, yeah. And it's cheaper. So all things positive. We're still going to get to do everything we wanted to do, assuming the weather cooperates. So hopefully we'll be sending you some pictures and stuff from the hikes that we're about to go on. Some waterfalls and a reservoir and stuff we're going to go look at. And basically just drive around and see what we can find. Well, that's, that's all we got. Yeah, that's it. So this is the Rim Rock Trail. It was our first hike that we did and I was pleasantly surprised by it. to ourselves and it was um, it was a really nice hike it wasn't too strenuous it was all uphill we used all trails to find the information on it so that's how we knew we could take the dogs with us I really enjoyed that hike As you can see here, my kid is very what? My kid is very not afraid of heights, like her mother who's sitting down at the bottom. We're going up a mountain. Going up the steps. We did it. We conquered the mountain. So we made it to the top and we wanted to tell you it's a really really steep set of stairs so if you're afraid of heights probably not uh, probably not something you want to do but what a beautiful place. Um, there is a way to drive to the parking lot right up here. We're gonna go that way yes. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to hike the whole hike that we just did which is uphill the whole way but it was pretty cool. There's a lot of yeah. neat rock formations yeah. and you definitely yeah. want to yeah. see it from the bottom and yeah. from the top. Yeah. So check it out. Yeah. So friends, after we finished our hike at the Rim Rock Trail, we then took a trip over to Jake's Rocks Overlook, which is what you're looking at right now. Then went down to the Kinswood Dam to 
check it out, which we'll show you some pictures of here in a second. So the next morning we finally made it down to the Kinzua Bridge State Park, which is the main attraction of the area. It was touted by some as the eighth wonder of the world when it was still standing. Unfortunately, a tornado took it down in the early 2000s, but it's still pretty cool to see. So we're standing here at the wreckage of the Kinzua Bridge which was at the time the tallest and longest railroad bridge in the world. It stood for over a hundred years and an F1 tornado took her down. We're at the bottom right now. We didn't get any film up at the top. We've been trying to manage my wife Rachel's fear of heights and my child Sarah's fear of nothing. So <laughs> it's been an interesting, interesting adventure. But we wanted to show you from the bottom what it looks like. And there's a really, really nice visitor center at the top. You gotta check that out. And of course the skywalk up there, Sarah and I walked out. I'll show you some pictures of that. But the visitor center is just fantastic. I mean, it is one of the best visitor centers I've ever seen. So you gotta go, you gotta check us out. It's pretty cool. Just wanted to show people this up here. So from my understanding, it looks like there's a bolt like this on this side. And the same on the other side. And this is one of the original stone pillars. Um, most of them are wrapped in concrete. So they wrapped it in concrete to make it sturdier and then put more anchors into it. But it uh, looks like to me they just expected gravity to kind of hold this thing down and the bolts was in there to keep it from moving side to side. But I guess no one ever expected a tornado to try to pick it up. So. That's what it seems to me, if there's someone who's an engineer who can tell me more, please do. But that's my understanding of what happened here. So this is just one last view of this. Um, remember folks, it took two minutes for this to happen. It's the incredible force of nature. But I'm going to head back to the truck and try to find Rachel and Sarah. Because uh, I think they went back up and then I think we're going to head either back to the campsite or somewhere else, so we'll keep you posted. After we visited the Kinsua Bridge, we then proceeded to visit Bradford, Pennsylvania, where we took brunch at John Williams European Pastry Shop, and then we went to visit the Case Museum and the Zippo Factory. Just real quick here, wanted to show you around our site here at High Pines. This is a really nice site. It's got a lot of space, got a nice fire pit, a picnic table, and you could fit a pretty long rig in here because we're at 26 feet with the, with the trailer and there's a lot of room behind us. So you could fit a really nice site or really nice size rig in here. This is site L. It's in the full hookup section, back in. It's got a really nice fire pit with brick around it. Um, this is actually the first time we've ever had full hookups, so I'm not exactly sure. We need to get a sewer ladder to make things a little better flow. But um, so yeah, we've got the 30 amp water and electric, which is something we weren't going to have if we had got in at the KOA. So we got lucky here with full hookups. And as you can see on this quiet rainy Monday there's like nobody else here of course it's the end of the season temperatures are dropping it would have been the last week of the year that the KOA was open had they been open so but that's all I've got that concludes this section of our trip we're gonna probably stop the video here um, and then tomorrow morning we're headed to the KOA in Belfont